all right so i'm back hopefully you know if everything stays stable because lord have mercy has been giving me hell i think i got everything worked out though i think i think it's been working fine all day that's all i can say so that being said we'll be looking at some dick emery the toothy vicar and the bishop let's get into it <laughs> Cathedral bells ring sweet and clear this afternoon. <laughs> Lord have mercy that yes, I envy my Lord Bishop his proximity to them. Have your bells survived the ravages of time? <laughs> Pop. <laughs> the bells of your church, are they still intact? Oh, unfortunately, no. We have to rely on amplification and a tape recorder. Is that satisfactory? Oh, yes, so long as the verger puts on the right tape. Though I must confess there was one unfortunate moment when I was conducting a burial service to the accompaniment of Mr. Tommy Steele singing Flash, Bang, Wallop, Oh, what a picture. Stick it in your family, I'll bum. <laughs> what? Quite true, my dear. My husband is a champion bell ringer. Bro, the teeth they've got. A large family is always a blessing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Reverend Pocock and his dear lady are a long time with the bishop, aren't they? Yes. Not quite the right sort of type, I should have thought, for this new parish. Oh, I am quite sure that his lordship, oh, with divine guidance, will pick the very best man amongst you for the position. Oh, thank you, my dear. <laughs> it's a very uh, wealthy... Bro, the, number one, just the, the, the <laughs> little bit of silly bits with the banal talk that's thrown in, right? Just, you gotta appreciate that, but the teeth. The teeth just so over the top for both. Hers are, are concealed like his. Oh my God, boy! It's like xylophone mouth. Just do, 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 do. you could play seriously. Boy, I've seen horse with less teeth than that. Parish, I understand. Yes, I do believe they entrust the collection to a security firm. <laughs> well, the present incumbent is retiring to the Bahamas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not that the financial aspect has anything to do with... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you for giving the bishop so much of your time, Reverend Pocock. We'll be informed of his deliberations and the result in due course. Thank you. The Reverend and Mrs. Galbraith? Oh, yes, yes, we are here. Come along, my dear. May divine promise and smile on your endeavours, sir. And on those of your dear lady wife. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Soppy cow. <laughs> He's a bit of a bark as well. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Fancy a cup of this rotten tea? Oh, thank you. I prefer my own poison. <laughs> oh, I do wish you'd lay off that stuff. You had a skinful in the pub at lunchtime. Well, I, can, I, can I help it if I keep winning at darts? <laughs> Do you like a sip? A oh, creme de menthe and bitter. <laughs> oh, I prefer mine, rum and surgical spirit. <laughs> oh, Lord you know, have mercy. you're so wicked. I can't think why you ever went in for the church. Because I was turned down by the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, the picking should be quite good here. I mean, providing you click with me, Lord Bish. <laughs> Amelia, I do wish you wouldn't express yourself in so coarse a manner. Although I must admit you're quite right. There's a lot of pickings to be fleeced from the flock. <laughs> yes. In a rich parish like this, the old hatches, matches and dispatches should be worth quite a few bob. <laughs> yes. Provided you give them a bit of a shove. How? Well, they're bound to be overweight. 
and a couple of strong sermons on the virtues of violent exercise to keep the image of their maker in good nick. And as soon as they start running round the park, they'll be dropping like flies. <laughs> <laughs> you Bro. must remember to make the usual arrangements with the local undertaker. Oh, good thinking, <laughs> yes. Yes, and then, of course, christenings. Well, I'll have them queuing up within a year. Oh, <laughs> come on, love. I mean, even you can't increase the birth rate. <laughs> oh, no, I can do a snort of a sermon on the pill. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Uh, you couldn't let me. I'm sorry, my dear. No, I've run out as well. But I must have a drink. Well, if the dear bishop runs true to form, you'll have to wait another couple of hours. <laughs> now, you listen to me, Ignatius. If I don't get a drop of the tip, Bro. when we go in there to see the bishop, I shall tell him that if Dirty Gertie doesn't win the 2.30 tomorrow, you have blown the organ restoration fund. <laughs> you would. I would. Very well. Why she wants her alcohol and she'll blackmail him to get it. Great God. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, bro. Some of this is just like, it's, there's some peaks and valleys with just in this little clip of holy crap. You know, we've, uh, we've pulled this one before. Not here, we haven't. Very well, let's get on with this, then. Okay. I'll get you down, yeah, yes. yes. I won't make that. Uh, 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 uh. You rang, sir? Oh. Yes, oh, I, I, I'm so sorry. My dear wife is overcome by the fact that she's going to meet the dear bishop in a moment. She's such a gentle nature, you see. Oh, perhaps a drop of brandy might bring her around, sir. Oh, yes, I never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Alcohol shall never pass my lips. <laughs> You must pass yourself, my dear. Pass yourself. Here you are, sir. Is Thank there much. anything else I can do for no, you? No, 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 no. We won't trouble you any farther. Very yes. good, sir. Thank you so much. Ah! Jackpot! It's Napoleon. There. Now, uh, what are your chances of getting this job? Pretty good, I should think. Pocock's out of the running. Well, so I should think. Considering you wouldn't let me have a drink last night until I'd phoned up the bishop in a Jewish accent, telling him that the Reverend Pocock was the father of my twins. <laughs> Galbraith's a dead duck. Why? Because I phoned the bishop and told him Galbraith was. Oh. 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 I can explain, I can. Oh, I can assure my Lord Bishop that I have never in my life been on a kibbutz. Let alone had twins. The matter will naturally be investigated. Oh. Oh. The Reverend and Mrs. Chislett. Uh, if you would step this way, then you come along, my dear. <laughs> there we are. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> Good heavens! Is your wife ill? No, no, no. She's as drunk as a skunk. <laughs> Surely you're not taking you to see the bishop like that. Why not? If you don't enter, you can't win. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching my This was oh my goodness. But there's some scheme there's some schemers. <laughs> there's some schemers. Lord have mercy done blown the organ fund. Of course the play on words there. Uh because uh play an organ and yeah, it blows alright. Anyways, I might take a look at some more uh Dick Emery when I get the chance. Cause we looked at the milkman, we've looked at the driving test. And uh, now we've looked at the Toothy Vicar. I love just, oh my God. Because it, it, it adds so much. The teeth almost have a personality of their own with the way they, they talk and curl the lips and stuff like that. It's stuff like this that, you know, when some of the props have, are just as much a part of the sketch as the, as the, the dialogue and stuff. You got to love stuff like that. I hope you all enjoyed this. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.